Hi, in this video, we'll learn about sustainability and sustainable development. In this lesson, we'll learn about the history of sustainable development and then about what is sustainable development followed by the World Summit on Social Development, the Sustainable Development Goals and what the future holds. In the year 1987, the United Nations sponsored the World Commission on Environment and Development, also known as WECD, to make a report that was titled Our Common Future. The report was created by an organization to focus on environment and developmental problems and their solutions, also known as Brundtland Commission after Gro Harlem Brundtland, the Prime Minister of Norway. The report created a united international community with shared sustainability goals by identifying the sustainability problems worldwide and raising awareness about them and suggesting the implementation of solutions for those problems. The needs of the world's poor and the environment's ability to meet the present and future generations needs were the main focus of this report. So what is sustainable development? Well, according to the report, it was the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. Or in other words, sustainable development is a development of the economy and of the society in such a way so that all our future generations are also equally getting the resources that we are getting today. In the year 2005, at the World Summit on Social Development, Millennium Development Goals were identified. The view developed in this summit indicated three pillars of sustainability and they were economic development, social development and environmental protection. It further stated that the economy and the society is constrained by the limits imposed by the environment. From the World Summit on Social Development, it was clear that sustainability is possible only by making sure that the social and economic development takes place within the environmental limitations or in other words, by using the natural resources judiciously so that all the generations can make use of them equally. The Millennium Development Goals specifically stressed on these aspects. Finally, the United Nations proposed the Sustainable Development Goals in 2015. It included in its agenda 2030, basically to end poverty, to protect the planet and to ensure prosperity for all as part of a new Sustainable Development Agenda. The 17 Sustainable Development Goals are no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry, innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequality, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice and strong institutions and finally partnership for all the above goals. These are the goals that every country, every government and every individual has to meet by the year 2030. Each of the discussed sustainable development goal has to be met with a specific target and be achieved by the year 2030. The participation of governments, private sector, civil society and all the people is necessary for these goals to be met. Thanks for watching.